guys, it's Melanie, and it's already time for empties for the month of December. So I do realize this video is going up just a little bit early. Um, by the way, you may be hearing my daughter just yelling in the background randomly. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> She's extra sassy today. Um, but next week, um, most of my videos are going to be dedicated to end of year favorites. And I took a little trip through the house, um, tried to see if there's anything that I'm going to be finishing in the next week or so. And pretty much everything that I have going right now is in the very early stages of burning. So I don't imagine that I will finish those candles before the beginning of January. So I have gathered all of my empties. For December and I've placed them in this fantastic Sephora bag <laughs> and it's full <laughs> so let's jump into the home fragrance empties for the month of December all right first there should be two of these bad boys in here these are the Mary cookie gentle foaming hand soaps from obviously Bath and Body Works loved it I will gladly repurchase this in the future it's very light but it's nice. It's just a very nice holiday hand soap. Smells like cookies. <laughs> very similar to the candle. It's delicious. Um, yes, I will repurchase that next year. Um, finished up a Sparkle Everyday Confetti Cupcake. So this is the one with the fancy lid. Um, so I really like this candle. Um, I've heard some people say that the throw on this is stronger than Mary Cookie. I actually kind of find the opposite to be the case, at least with this one. Um, I mean, it had a decent throw, but it wasn't as strong as my Mary Cookie. Um, very similar to Mary Cookie in that it has that like sugar cookie frosting kind of scent. They're not exactly, exactly the same, but when they're burning, they're so close that I don't think that most people could really tell the difference between the two in terms of the fragrance. The throw is a little bit different, but... The overall effect that you get is one of like a vanilla cookie with like sweet frosting kind of um, scent. <laughs> okay, so I keep all of my lids. So um, these I clean out and I recycle. Will I purchase more of the confetti cupcake? I was tempted to because of the lids, but to be honest, I just like how the Mary cookie is a little bit stronger. So at the semi-annual sale... Um, I'll probably be stocking up on the Mary cookie. So, but I'm glad that I got four of these. It was nice. Towards the end, the flames got a little bit puny and um, I couldn't smell it quite as well, but it wasn't terrible. So, um, it's a good candle. I just don't think I'll grab any more of them. Finished up oh, one of my few backups. Uh, I think I have one more after this cinnamon sugar donut from the Sweet Shop collection this past spring. Loved it. I will certainly purchase more cinnamon sugar donut in the future. They do seem to re-release it from time to time, so I'm hopeful that it's coming again in, over the next year, and yeah, I love it. <laughs> it. Smells just like greasy Krispy Kreme donuts. Delicious. Okay, finish this bad boy up. This was the pumpkin and berry Pumpkin and Berries from Yankee Candle Home Classics. I got this at Target. It was on sale for like $7.50, so I grabbed two. Do have one backup. Glad I have the backup because it does smell very good. And now I see them selling the one that's like half this size for like $19.95. Definitely wouldn't pay full price for this. It's a really yummy scent, but it's not very strong. The throw is probably about a six. I had it in my bedroom upstairs. It gave a nice little like waft of pumpkins and berries, but um, not super strong. I certainly wouldn't pay more than $7.50. <laughs> so anyway, good, but no, unless I can find these Target candles from Yankee on sale, I would never pay full price for them. So there's that. Can you guys hear her down there? All she does all day is like chatter to herself. By the way, I keep looking over here because there is this giant bug thankfully on the outside, but like just waltzing across my window in front of me here and he's creeping me out. Find a new home. Okay, Marshmallow Fireside in the mason jar. Just finished this bad boy up last night. I had this in my master bath and I love it. I will always repurchase Marshmallow Fireside. 
It's delicious. <laughs> it smells like gooey marshmallows and vanilla and like fireplace. <laughs> it does have that like total like fireplace kind of smell to it. Okay, here's something fun. This is Twilight Woods. Um, this is just a mini that I got at the last semi-annual sale. This one actually didn't tunnel. Um, it wanted to a little bit, but it ended up correcting itself. Normally these are like notorious for tunneling like crazy, but this one did really well. I had this in my downstairs bathroom for the last week and it's great for a small space. You, nothing you would want to put in like a kitchen or dining room, like it, like a powder room. Perfect. Anything bigger than that, you wouldn't smell it, but I like this fragrance a lot. I'm going to be going to a Bath & Body Works outlet on the first day of the um, semi-annual sale, so this coming Friday, and I've seen this there every time that I've gone, so I'm going to pick some up because it smells really good. Um, the description is apricot nectar, mimosa petals, and Tuscan cypress. It's really good. Okay, she's coming up the stairs. She's not wearing pants, so let me put some pants on her. Hang on, guys. Sorry about that. Stella's kind of getting to an age where I don't want her to be on camera without pants. <laughs> she's still, obviously, she's not potty training very well, so she's still in diapers. But, um, yeah, she's going to be almost three, so I don't know. I think little baby legs are adorable, but I just don't want to, like, embarrass her too much in the future. So let's keep going. Um, Mary Cookie. Heck yeah, I'll repurchase this. It's delicious. <laughs> it smells like sugar cookies and frosting. Stella and I made sugar cookies last night. That was an adventure. <laughs> and um, they smelled very similar to this candle. So delicious. Yes, I will absolutely repurchase that in the future. Not making spice. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be able to purchase a million of these. I am hoping that possibly, maybe, just maybe, at the semi-annual sale, either at my regular store or at the outlet, they will have some of these. They didn't bring it back this year. <sighs> Couldn't be more pissed. This is one of my favorite, all-time favorites from Bath & Body Works. It does smell like you're baking Christmas cookies. It is delicious. I have two backups left. Ugh. Bath & Body Works, please bring it back. I love it. Man, I love this. Spiced Pumpkin Cider. This was one of the strongest candles that I have ever burned. Literally. The throw on this was incredible. It filled my entire house. Downstairs, upstairs, the whole thing. From this one candle spice pumpkin cider um, I have I think two backups of this and um, if I find it at the semi annual sale either now or next summer when it starts you better believe that I'm going to stock up on this bad boy this is phenomenal it smells like sweet cider not much pumpkin to it but it's not like your traditional cider where you just smell like the apples and the cinnamon it's like I don't, it's got something special in it that I just can't put my finger on. It says pumpkin apple cider, ground nutmeg, and a hint of clementine. Maybe it's that citrus. I don't know, but it's phenomenal. I love it. If you can find that still, you should stock up. Okay, so this, oh, this is crazy. Like, look at the oil. Like, do you see that oil, like, running down? Um, oh, hey. What are you doing in here? Cat litter? What, are you? You're not playing with cat litter, are you? Okay. Where's your yogurt? Where's your yogurt? In the microwave. In the microwave? Oh, I'll be right back. Sorry. <laughs> I should probably just start over, but this is my life. Sorry. Okay. This is sugary sweet snowfall from Yankee Candle. So. This is clearly not finished. There's a reason that I can't burn it anymore. Um, I bought this at the semi-annual sale in June. I love the way this smells. It's extremely light on its throw. Like, I'm talking like a three or a four. Something happened like, right at this point where when I light it, it literally is like a freaking like torpedo flame coming out of here. 
I don't know if it has to do with the oil, like all sitting. Can you guys see that? Can you see? There's like an, it's so oily. Um, I don't know if all the fragrance oil was just at the bottom and wasn't like mixed in, but I honestly can't burn it because it's not safe. So I can't even finish this. And it also, because of like the mat, you can see the soot. Because of the massive flame, it just, it's like turning the scent from like a sweet, like warm vanilla sugar type scent to more of like a kerosene. It's not good. So this one's just going away. Um, I don't think I would, if they happen to ever bring this back, I don't think I would purchase this candle just because while I love the way it smells, I can't actually smell it when it's burning. So that was not worth it. Finished up a pumpkin cupcake. Love this. It's a staple for me. It smells like pumpkin cake with frosting. It's delicious. Finished up another pumpkin cupcake. So clearly I was still in pumpkin mode during the month of December. Yes, I'll repurchase it. Finished up a mason jar of my beloved Mary Cookie. I will say the mason jar format. Couldn't smell it. Not strong enough. Um, not terrible. Good for a small room but not nearly as good as some of my other mason jars and some of my other scents. So luckily this was free. Here are, I think I only kept two, but I replaced all of my, um, oh, you went shopping. Good. Oh, hey, whoa, no, you cannot put that down sideways. Okay. No. Stella. Okay. Do, are you going to eat this? Okay, well, Mama, Mama's going to have to leave this here. I replaced my um, wallflowers, uh, not Megan's Spice. I actually have three. Right around the middle of the month is when I have to replace all of my wallflowers. They all sort of futz out at the same time. So I went through three of those this month. Finished up a mason jar and cinnamon sugar donut. Man, this was a bust. I even had this in my downstairs powder room. Couldn't smell a thing. Not, not a thing. The candle was there for ambiance. It wasn't there for producing any kind of scent. Um, not at all like the three wick. <laughs> this one was notorious for being a little bit hit and miss in terms of the formula, so... That was a dud. I do, unfortunately, have a couple backups still, so I don't think I'm going to return them or exchange them. I'm just, I don't know. I feel kind of weird because this was like from last spring, so I think I'm just going to end up keeping them and burning them for ambiance. Maybe I'll save them for a power outage. <laughs> okay, heirloom pumpkin is the last one I'm going to share with you. So heirloom pumpkin was delicious. I actually had a little bit of, I'll be honest, I'll ha I had a little bit of trouble finishing this one up because I just kind of grew tired of the scent and so I would light it and then I'd be like, I don't want to smell this right now. <laughs> the um, spice in this is a little bit strong. So I really prefer my pumpkin candles to be more like the pumpkin cupcake. Um, I don't know that I will repurchase this and its future reincarnation repackages <laughs> in the future. Um, I think I'm kind of over the scent at this point, so bummer, but I did like it at one time. It's just, it's a very spicy pumpkin and like brown sugar type of scent. So anyway, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Anyway, those are all of my fragrance empties for the month of December. <laughs> so if this is the last video you no, see before Christmas if you celebrate no, Merry no. Christmas to you if you don't Look happy outside. holidays <laughs> whatever you celebrate um, I will be recording my beauty videos when Stella goes to bed here in a little while so you will see those tomorrow please let me know what you finished during the month of December and I will see you guys in my next video bye Look outside. Look outside. <laughs>